to Phoenix. This is the story of McKenna Travels. Come join us as we show you how we do it. Please subscribe to our channel if you like what you're watching so we can create more videos for you. Click the bell to receive new video notifications. Follow us on Instagram at McKenna Travels. So guys, we're here because we missed our trip to Japan because they're still not allowing tourists yet. We thought we'd get a mini experience of Japan until we can rebook back to Tokyo. The real Tokyo. The Japanese Friendship Garden is located on 1125 North 3rd Avenue in Phoenix. They are open Tuesday through Sunday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Admission prices for adults are $10 USD, seniors $8 USD, and anyone who has a student, military, or children are $7 USD. Under 5 is free to get into the Japanese Friendship Garden. We just found out that they have a traditional Japanese tea ceremony that you can book. Coming here, he said it's about six to seven months booking in advance. So if you are coming to Phoenix, you need to do this about six months in advance, but it's something that we would really like to do. So I think we're gonna check it out. Highly recommend it if you wanna do the traditional tea ceremony to book online at the Japanese Friendship Garden of Phoenix. Make sure you go online and book in about six to seven months in advance before you come here. But other than that, we're gonna check out the rest of the Japanese Friendship Garden today. It's beautiful. It's a nice walk around. It's very shaded. It's great. Definitely come here early um, so you get less people so you can walk around and enjoy your time. McKenna loves to check out the gift shop, and she's going to grab a Japanese drink for the drive to the downtown Phoenix Farmer's Market. I will be your shield in the fiercest battle, I'll defend you from all these arrows and the sword I will will keep you from danger, let me be your shield. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we are at the Phoenix Farmers, Farmers Market, Market, downtown Phoenix. The downtown Phoenix Farmers Market is a great place to stop to buy local farm produce, artesian goods, or to just stop to grab a bite to eat from many of the food vendors that are available. The 
Farmer's Market is open on Saturdays from 8 a.m. to about 1 p.m. and is located on 721 North Central Avenue in downtown Phoenix. early um because it's what is it it's about 12 o'clock right now and it's hot and we're only in april early april they have everything fresh honey fresh fruit fresh vegetables flowers uh what else you can get bread. shirts bread jewelry like pretty much you name it non you can grab it <laughs> non-bread Downtown Phoenix is vibrant and is a business and entertainment district with shopping at the cityscape, art galleries, and Roosevelt Row. We stopped into Chico Malo to grab a bite to eat. It's got a great Mexican menu and craft cocktails in hip surroundings located in the cityscape. We started with an appetizer, the ceviche verde, and it was really good. Highly recommend this if you want a fresh fish dish. great place to stop to check out the breweries, cocktail bars, cafes, pizzerias, and breakfast spots in town. Downtown Phoenix hosts great museums such as the Children's Museum, the Phoenix Art Museum, and the Arizona Science Center. There is something for everyone as Downtown Phoenix is also home to Chase Field Baseball Park, the Arizona Diamondbacks, the Phoenix Suns, and the Phoenix Mercury. You will also find live music, theater, and comedy venues in downtown Phoenix at the Orpheum Theater, Celebrity Theater, Stand Up Live, Herberger Theater, Phoenix Theater Company, and the Phoenix Symphony. Highly recommend if you're going to come to Phoenix, especially if you're not from Phoenix, to come anytime between November, late November, probably all the way through to late March. Even April's okay, depending upon the week. Right now it is April. It's pretty darn hot outside right now. It's like 95. It feels like 102 with the sun beating down. But if you can come during those times, the weather is amazing. It's like 70, it's beautiful, and you can pretty much walk around anywhere outside. So we just went down Heritage Square in downtown Phoenix. It's really amazing because it's been around for a really long time. There's tons of Victorian houses and it's really beautiful. The main house I think that you can go and do an actual tour at is the Rawson House. In 1894, Dr. Roland and Flora Rawson commissioned an architect, A.P. Petit, to design this build a 4,200 square foot brick Queen Anne style home with East-like decorative elements. The same year, Dr. Rawson was elected the mayor of Phoenix. So this house is extremely important to this area. So this Heritage Square is really cute. Unfortunately, due to COVID, there's been a few of the businesses that have gone out of business that are there, but there's still some great ones that are located like Pizzeria Bianco, where you can stop and have an amazing um, wood-fired pizza. We are headed over to the Wrigley's Mansion. Yes, it was once owned by the chewing gum business magnet.
Chinese mansion were coming in here for a drink, early drink, waiting to be served. The architecture has elements of Spanish, California Monterey, and Mediterranean styles. The original tiles that can still be seen in the mansion were shipped from the Wrigley family's tile factory on Catalina Island and carted up the hill by donkeys. The Wrigley family sold the mansion in 1973 and it went through several hands until in 1992 the city of Phoenix was looking to tear it down and build condos. Gordy and Jamie Hormel fell in love with the property and restored it with the intention of sharing the inherent magic with everyone. So we are in Wrigley's mansion and we're walking into the master bedroom. You can get a tour to get the actual factual information and not hear it from me. They do tours daily, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I believe, 3 p.m. They are booked months in advance. We tried to do one today. Unfortunately, it's about five weeks out, so we're doing our self tour. So you might get some information. You might need to Google it because it might not be factual. We're just <laughs> gonna have to just fake it like we know what you're talking about. So if you're coming to Phoenix, guys, this is a must do. So you can either come for dinner, you can come for a tour, you can come to grab a drink at the bar. They do allow you to do self tours and walk around as long yeah. as there's nothing else going on like a wedding or any other events. They do do jazz nights where you can have a drink. You do need to book these early. It's pretty impressive. I've lived in Phoenix pretty much my whole life. I absolutely, like this is my favorite place to come. I love the Wrigley's Mansion. The Wrigley's Mansion was built between 1929 and 1931 by the chewing gum magnate William Wrigley Jr. for his wife, Ada. A must-see at Wrigley's Mansion is the player piano. You can see it in full action on one of the tours. It is a 1920s era Steinway piano and is one of two privately owned player pianos in existence. In today's valuation, this piano is worth something over 20 million. Due to city regulations, the mansion must maintain private club status. However, Gordy and Jamie's intention is to share the mansion with everyone and affordable memberships are available for added access, amenities, and include free valet parking, member-only events, and much more. Information on memberships can be found at the Wrigley Mansion's website. So if you're in Phoenix, guys, definitely come check out the Wrigley's Mansion. Tons of weddings are done here every year. I do know the chef, Christopher, is doing chef cooking classes. We're really interested in doing those, so we might actually go and check those out. Jazz nights look really great. We're gonna book some of those. Look beautiful. You can get drinks and like bar food. I believe they're at six and seven and 7 and 8 p.m. and you can book those in advance. They're pretty sold out. Um, we tried to get them for tonight, so we'll have to book them a couple months out. It's April, so a lot of people here in Phoenix. So if you're coming here during the busy season, make sure you book months in advance. And if not, you can just come have a drink at either Gordy's um, or you come to Jamie's or you can go to Christopher's. So a couple restaurants, great bar, lovely people. Honestly, they make you feel so welcome every time you come here and I just love this place. It's my favorite, if I haven't told you, in Phoenix. I've always loved the Wrigley's Mansion. Came here when I was a little girl for a wedding and still love it. The charm is just amazing and it's beautiful. We are driving through the Biltmore Estates. There is a great golf course here if you play golf and it's close to the Biltmore Fashion Park for some great shopping and restaurants. So when you're coming and visiting Phoenix, you must come and visit the Biltmore Fashion Park. It's a beautiful open air mall. And there's something here for everybody. You get some restaurants, you get some little boutique shops, and there's Big Saks Fifth Avenue and Macy's here. So your bigger retail stores.
Phoenix Art Museum is another great stop if you are here in Phoenix. It is open Wednesday through Sunday. If you're on a tight budget, it is a pay-as-you-wish donations on Wednesdays after 3 p.m. They have beautiful artwork from all over the world, special collections and exhibitions that are on showcase specific times of the year. Check their website for updated events. Thorn brooms represent a fascinating world in miniature. Creating at an exacting scale of one inch to one foot, several of the rooms replicate actual rooms found in the United States and Europe, while the remainder were inspired by the architecture and the interior design of the respective periods and countries. All right, we're gonna adventure into the darkness. Let's see where it goes. When you stop in at the Phoenix Art Museum, you must see the Fireflies exhibit. Fireflies are flying critters with a striking glow that dance through the night sky. This is perfectly captured in Phoenix Art Museum's Infinity Room installation by Yoyoi Kusuma, where you will be obliterated in the dancing swarm of fireflies. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe to watch more of our content. Thank you. We can the saxophone, I think, is down here, though. Oh, sorry. Copy's gotta, like, the endless void. This is the true meaning. This is what you would see in space. You can actually see the bottom of the picture. <laughs> 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 I just walked into the wall. <laughs> Tell me your feelings for walking. Oh, you got it recorded? <laughs>